Sometimes when you look at certain products that you purchase, it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel joy, right? And that's because there are so many details that have been put into the surfaces and the chosen materials and the proportions of the product that is so well put together that it makes you desire it. And so that's something that designers can control with the finishes as well. You know, we have to think about products that make you pause. I purchased this product. It makes me feel a certain way. I want to keep it for a long time. And perhaps we can connect that to a sustainable way of consuming products. As designers, we want people to consume less. We want them to consume better. So when we talk about sustainability, we want to make sure we have the least amount of coatings or the best amount of coatings, the best quality of coatings possible. So, you know, if we have a wood finish, is it best to leave it unfinished altogether? Leave the actual wood, the natural wood, let it live in the environment. Well, we know we don't want to get it stained or have uh, use and abuse over years of owning this, so maybe we apply a stain. Well, if we're gonna apply a stain, can we apply a water-based stain? So much better than a polyurethane, which is pretty toxic. If we're gonna paint something, maybe you should use a water-based paint. So moving away from these toxic chemicals and using more uh, biodegradable or more environmentally friendly, at very least, uh, ways of staining and coloring things are really, really helpful. So where we're going with finishes is really exciting. There's a lot of new advances, both in chemical treatments and natural treatments, and you know, thinking about the, the application of these finishes is really, really extraordinary nowadays. What if finishes and textures change based on how you use it? You know, if, what if the grip of your hand actually modified the structure of the surface of a product? And also personalization of the finish. You can use uh, virtual and enhancement to change the finish of a product depending on where or how you walk into a room or uh, what kind of interactions you have with it. And also finishes can be using other uh, senses as we talked about earlier. You know, haptic feedback can actually enhance the way you interact physically with a product. We're looking at self-healing paint and we're getting to the point where like so if you're, you're driving a car and you get a rock chip you know, no longer do you have to have that treated or repainted, it actually heals on its own. And uh, we can see this in a lot of different use cases where people uh, frequently sort of abuse their products, but they still look new year after year. And that's kind of a beautiful, sustainable story, right? 